time to get there? Like 5.30? Yeah. So it's done at like 6.30 something? Thanks. Well, he said he had a bad dream the first time, and then he was like, well, be good to use your good thoughts. Yeah. And he was like, you tell me what the thoughts were. I'm actually stunned speechless. If you guys have ever tried this hairstyle on your daughter, let me know because I feel like I struggle so much with the pull throughs. It's hard to get it like fully through and she has like a lot of little baby hairs, but I do think it is super cute and it gets the hair out of her face entirely, which she loves and I love. Good official morning, you guys. I have honestly restarted this video so many times because at this point, I don't know how to like properly say what I'm trying to say. My kids started off reading really well on the bed and now they're just being crazy. So I am gonna try to still talk to you guys, but I'm sorry for the distraction. If you're a mom, I know you get it. This weekend was complete insanity. Nathaniel and I both had events for friends and then between 75 hard with our two workouts each day, our kids, like we just quite literally traded off our kids and hardly spoke to each other. And as much as I enjoy having that time to spend with our friends and get to go out and socialize, it was completely and extremely exhausting and overwhelming. And we gave our personal family the worst of us. And that was just kind of like the tipping point of like, okay, we truly need to slow down. I've been feeling this desire for a long time, but the last month or so I've really felt a strong pull. And I think just between preschool, gymnastics, soccer, life, 75 hard, like all of those things, I I just feel like it's been a huge like okay you need to just be and slow down I constantly am just feeling behind in life and that I don't have enough time to just be I feel like the house is always a mess there's always laundry I'm never making enough bread that I want to and honestly I am being very negative right now I know but that's just kind of how I have felt lately and I just want to change that I feel like because our lives are so busy and chaotic I feel like when we do have slow moments to just chill we we don't and it's hard for us to do that and I really don't want to pass that down to my kids. I want to show them how we can just relax and enjoy life and just be chill at home and not always have to constantly be doing something. And so all of this has just kind of really made me want to really focus on slowing down. I also feel like we have our entire rest of our lives to be go, go, go. The kids are going to continue to be in more activities. There's going to be longer schools, more drop-offs, like all the things. And my kids are three and two. And honestly, that is just not necessary right now. I feel like this is the time to just enjoy being slow and be at home and I feel like I am just rambling on by this point but I wanted to start today with you guys and I wanted to take you guys along with me when I am just trying to Mama, slow down Mama, enjoy the okay. things at home just do Mama, the things we need to do here yeah, and to just be Mama, do you want yeah, that on yeah okay well, I didn't have one. um you had it last so it's Echo's turn then Rocky's turn Thank you. Because I refilmed that like five times, I don't even know what I actually am gonna keep and what I actually said to you guys. But moral of the story, join me for a slow day at home as a stay at home mom to two toddlers. Wanted to give you guys just a little OOTD. This pink top is actually my sister-in-law's. It's from Skims and I've literally worn it three days in a row. And it's just so easy and comfy. And we are already getting up to 90 degree weather. So that is super fun. Um, these are just my cargos from Abercrombie. I feel like I've worn these a ton. 
And then to update on the hat journey, I actually have been wearing hats a lot more lately and it was kind of forced because I did one of my walks and I burnt my scalp and now I have a peeling head. And so I've been wearing hats and I actually really like them. I feel like they're such a fun like little accessory to spruce up an outfit, which is why they are created. <laughs> I honestly still am like always touching it and it's really like hard for me to get used to, but I am getting used to it and I really do like it. Something else that I extremely dislike about being overly busy is the activities are typically during dinner time, which usually means we end up eating out way more often, which don't get me wrong, I love me a good family dinner date, but I truly believe I have the world's most sensitive stomach and pretty much anything that I eat, especially eating out, always upsets that's it, leaves me with discomfort and bloating, and unfortunately, it can affect the rest of my day or night. Which if you are close to me, I can guarantee you, you have a memory of this happening, which is why I'm so thankful I found Array Bloat, and I just wanted to say a big thank you to Array for working with me on today's video. I have heard so many good things about Array, and I've been really interested in trying it for a long time, but when I saw that Lauren from The Skinny Confidential did a collab with them, I was even more intrigued. Array Bloat uses digestive enzymes to break down gluten and lactose, speed the food process breakdown, prevent gas and reduce heartburn. They are designed to be taken as needed. Typically, I will take two to three capsules after a large meal when I can start to feel the discomfort come on. And within under an hour, it provides immediate relief from bloating. Array Bloat capsules are a blend of five herbs and one fruit-based digestive enzyme that targets bloat so that you feel relief quickly. It contains natural ingredients such as ginger root, which aids the breakdown of food and reduces nausea, bromelain, which is a digestive enzyme from pineapple that breaks down protein and helps the gut absorb nutrients, lemon balm, which helps the gut relax, dandelion root, which helps remove excess water and balance blood sugars, and slippery elm, which helps create a protective layer in the stomach and strengthens gut health. Array Bloat is clinically proven to reduce bloating by 84% and relieves all IBS symptoms by 74%. I'm truly just so happy that I found this option to help me feel better and allow me to continue on to do all of the things that a mother of two needs to do. And if you guys want to try it out too, Array is offering 15% off your first order plus four free travel satchets. If you go to the link in my description box and use my code shopyt kyleen Rodriguez. If you guys try it out, let me know, especially if you are a sensitive stomach girly. I hope it provides you the relief that it has provided me. While I was filming that, the kids are in Rocky's room having like a sleepover. They are destroying it per usual, but they are being super cute. All right, can you guys help me make the pizza dough? Yeah! Okay, we're gonna switch off, okay? Whoever's, watch your head, okay? Watch your head. I wish you. Rocky's here, so he's gonna go first, and then you guys will switch, okay? So look at this one, the bin. Yeah, keep it in. See, it goes. Is that kind of fun to watch? Yeah. Can you push this down? There you go. Yeah, turn it up just a little bit. There you go. So I was the mean guy, like dogs are the mean guy. Yeah, do you want to go play with me? Dogs are the mean guy, and those are the mean guy, and friends are the mean guy, and that's it. Okay, so we're gonna let it sit for an hour. It was ill wise. Exactly. How do you know that? I did know that. I'm surprised you are paying that close attention. Seems like an unfair fight. I got spidey webs, I'm upside down. Try and get me. Try and get me. Spidey webs. Oh. Oh. We angry the Hulk. Oh no. Don't. Pull him, stretch him apart. Stretch him. Ah. Let's dodge him, Echo. I mean, Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel, I have a brilliant idea. Oh no, it took our hoverboard down. Cookie? Here, Rocky, you can keep this one up. Okay? You need a wipe? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the moment this is stinky. Oh, is that stinky? Yeah, the moment it's stinky. Okay, you go throw it away? Yeah. Just pretend it's stinky. Yeah, we can. Okay. No, it's stinky. I have to. I need is to wipe. Oh, is it stinky? Yeah. I, I need to wipe it. Mama needs to do her play, which is cleaning the bathroom. Do you guys want to help or do you guys want to continue to play like you are? Um, we, you didn't, we, we, you come, um, frosting on, um, some, this is frosting. Okay, hey, first thing is you guys got to take your toys out of here. Poo-poo books, car, 
lamp. Okay. I need you, Rocky, to use this against the walls. So look on the walls, see if you find any spots. And can you clean the walls with it? Or the cabinets? Like look right here, there's a little spot right there. Can you use that? Can you wipe it. Rocky, I bet you behind this door there's some marks on the wall. Do you see anything? Where does this go? To a trash truck. Yeah. You can either help Mama, you can watch Mama, or you can go play. What would you like to do? You want to help? Okay. Um, because it's dirty. You want to pee? Yeah. Can you cheer her on? No, I have to go. No, I have to go. You want a book? We haven't officially started potty training Echo yet, but she is showing so much interest. We are supposed to go camping this weekend, but after that, we don't really have any plans for a while, and so I think I'm gonna tackle it soon. I do think this will help me slow down as well because we're literally gonna have to like put her on the potty every like 15 to 30 minutes. And I'm honestly a little nervous about it, but I think she's gonna do well since she's had so much interest already. And I'm excited to not have a baby in diapers. I feel like I've shared this like in so many vlogs, but I've never actually chatted about it. And if you guys have never made like a homemade lunch bowl, I highly recommend. I got this off of Amazon and it cuts the meat into little circles and letting them put it together for some reason makes them eat it so much more. My kids would absolutely never eat deli meat in any other situation. Lunch break for Dada? Lunch break for Dada. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want to sit by you? Hello. 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 Starting with sourdough for the first like bread that I've made always amazes me when I use an instant yeast just like how much it rises in such a short amount of time. I have to take a second to brag about my husband because I truly just don't think I could do all of this without him. He is just literally the absolute best dad and best husband and I just feel so lucky that he works from home and that like he can spend his lunch breaks with us outside eating lunch and that he can help me put the kids down for their naps and he just like saves a lot of my mental sanity pretty much every single day. But not only that, I'm just so thankful that he actually like wants to help and that he will see or hear those like tougher moments and if he has a second and can, he will jump up and help me. And yeah, I just feel like it can make me cry, but I'm just very thankful for him. And that is honestly like the biggest reason why I want to focus on slowing down more. We are totally good and I feel like this is making it sound worse than it is, but whenever you are super stressed and busy, I feel like almost everyone treats like their closest people to them the worst and I just don't want to ever do that to him. I don't want him and my kids to never be my top priority. So I just feel like it's like a little bit of a wake up call. I feel like it's a hard thing to share with you guys, but. I can imagine if any of you are in a similar season of life, you can understand how quickly or easily it can be um, stressful and you can kind of feel in a situation where you just don't get to like truly connect and bond and put the effort towards the people that mean the most to you, which is your family. So just a little heart to heart to you guys, but also Nathaniel, I'm sure you're watching this and I love you and I appreciate you. Name something better than eating lunch on your couch and watching a YouTube video. Another thing that I want to incorporate in this like slow down living is taking at least one day a week during my kid's nap where I just relax and rest and recoup and don't use it as a nap time grind. I am not saying this to boast by any means, but I truly do not do that like any day out of the week. I always use their nap time as like get stuff done around the house, 
go work out, do work, like do whatever I can that I can't do while they're awake or can't do as well while they're awake. And honestly, it is just not relaxing because I rely on the last like hour of my day to just like relax. And when that doesn't happen, I don't feel like I relaxed at all. I cannot fully do this today, but I am gonna do it for 30 minutes because I can do it for 30 minutes. And I really think it will help just like calm me down and just kind of like give me a restart for the second half of the day. This weekend, we are actually going camping, which is something that we have never done. I've never gone camping with Nathaniel, and I certainly have never gone camping with my kids. The sleeping situation should definitely be interesting, but I'm actually so excited to all sleep in a tent, just the four of us, like all bundled up. We don't ever do that um, because I slept train my kids and they sleep in their own room. Like we don't really cuddle and we don't really get to like be cozy and I don't know, I'm just like really excited about it. And to me, it feels like a slow down weekend because we're just gonna be in the middle of nowhere camping. Although it will take a lot of prep and then we'll have to like clean up afterwards too. I am very excited um, to experience that. But I am gonna just get a little bit of back end work done. I only have like 20 minutes before I need to grab the kids. But I'm gonna try and get um, as much done as I can. Like this, okay. sprinkle. Sprinkle? Yeah, sprinkle. There you go. Huh? <laughs> Did it stick? Yeah. You might need some flour on your roller. The only time I've ever caramelized onions is when I worked at In-N-Out and you didn't have to add anything to them. You literally would just throw them on the grill and like move them back and forth and they would caramelize. But for these, I added two tablespoons of butter and one tablespoon of oil. And you're supposed to just like let it get all fragrant and then I'm gonna cover them and mix every 15 minutes for an hour and supposedly I will be left with caramelized onions. Are you going to add the dodgers? Yep. Just give me one second to mix these onions. They are taking a lot less time than the recipe said. Ooh, look, can I help you push it all the way through? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Look how this one has holes in it. But look, you can just put the dough back in. Yeah, that actually only took like 10 minutes and these look incredible. Whenever I make homemade pizza, I always give the kids just like a little bit of the dough and they can just play with it and make their own personal pizza. I'll use like rollers and like little cutouts and it helps entertain them while I'm making dinner. All right, so this is Rocky's and Echo's, but then you guys can also bake yours, okay? I like to taste it. Thank this you. This big and this one's small. Yeah, these are all for you guys though, okay? Because you guys kind of boogered these ones up, so I wasn't actually going to feed them to you. But we can make them. Nathaniel, I need you. I can't open the pasta. I need a man. Ew. I can't open that either. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thanks, Anna. Thanks, Anna. Yeah, you like red sauce, huh? Yeah. Hey, are you eating your cheese? I ate one of <laughs> You just ate one? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you put the rest on your pizza, sweet boy? Okay. Okay. I like, I eat it because I like it. It's yummy, huh? It gets so yummy. Echo, hey, go. Echo, echo, no, no, no. Echo, that's last. Here you go. Go, go, go.
That was so good, way better than I thought. I've never had steak pizza and so I didn't know what to expect, but the caramelized onions were so good. It was also so nice to sit outside. It is seriously just so beautiful right now. It's like sunny and 75. We are pushing like 80s, 85s, getting close to 90s, but right now we are still enjoying it. But I just wanted to show you guys really quick because steak always bloats me. I'm getting very vulnerable with you guys, but I wanted to show you guys just like my belly before and after taking the bloat pill, like this is just like me totally relaxed. I literally look pregnant and that happens every time I eat red meat, especially not high quality red meat, which is what we had, but also just like the pizza dough, just like literally, look at that, that's me relaxed. Just clearly bloated, but I am gonna take a couple of the capsules just to show you guys how it works, but also to get rid of this bloating because I don't ever really feel great and my stomach extends like this. I am very curious to see like the physical change because honestly, I've never taken like a side-by-side -side photo. I just have felt relief from taking it. And so I'm very curious to see these results. We are going to play outside for a little bit longer. They are currently squirting Nathaniel with water. And then we have to go do our walk because we have not done our second workout yet. And then I'll check in with you guys afterwards. Nathaniel truly is the fun parent and the kids are seriously obsessed with him. And I'm gonna put the camera down and I am going to go play with them until it's time to go walk. I should be the last time. What kind? Pink. Think what? Echo, do you want chocolate? No. What do you want? Sprinkle? Clearly in a different outfit because we just finished our walk, but I wanted to show you guys what my stomach is looking like. It's been about like an hour and a half or so, and clearly it is not like a, holy crap, your stomach is like completely flat now, but it is so much better, especially like right here, I can tell the biggest difference, but above all, I have zero stomach pain, which is huge. I literally had a stomach ache over the weekend from eating potatoes at a restaurant, and so the fact that I have zero pain is truly game changing because typically this would knock me out for the rest of the night. Like I would just be curled over in stomach pain until I slept it off. So very happy about that. Back in my cozies that I started the video off on and I have a clean face and honestly it feels so good. I feel like I end every vlog like this, but truly by the end of the day, after vlogging the whole day, I am just like so excited to be in this position. But we are gonna go watch This Is Us and just chill for a bit. But before I ended the vlog, I wanted to share something random with you guys because over the weekend, one of the activities that we did was we played D&D &D with my brother, sister, and her husband. And it was seriously so fun. I'm like a dwarf, which is so random. I was trying to be a fairy, but there wasn't the option to be that with the way we're playing it. And then I was gonna be a wizard, but then my sister made her character before me and she was a wizard. So I went with a dwarf and honestly, it's been so fun. I was super tired when we played it, but even with that, I had the best time and we're gonna meet like every two weeks or so and do it. And my brother is just the best. He like spent hours making like a city for us and like all these like little scenarios, whatever. I'm honestly not entirely sure what's going on. I just kind of let them tell me what's going on and what to do but it seriously was so fun. So never thought I would be saying that I played that, but that was one of the many things we did this weekend. But thank you guys again for being here. I so appreciate you and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.